I know that you guys are not here for 5.1.1, 5.2.2 and 5.1.3. The question we are really interested in here is 5.3.3. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. The term for the reaction to reach completion in run 3 is 2.6 minutes. Right, let's hear the stories. Calculate the percentage purity of the aluminium. Take the molar gas volume at 60 degrees Celsius to be 27,000 centimeter cubes per mole. So what is happening? Let's go ahead and read the question statement. So in this investigation, 5 grams of the same sample of impure aluminium powder reacts with an excess diluted sulfuric acid at 60 degrees Celsius in each of the three runs. The table below summarizes the conditions and the results obtained. Assume that the impurities do not react. So we are interested in run 3. Let's take a look at the information we have in run 3. So in run 3, the information we have is the concentration of the sulfuric acid. And we also are given the average rate of volume of hydrogen gas produced in centimeter cube per second. And we want to calculate the percentage purity of the aluminium. How are we going to do that? Let me show you how. So let's copy down our equation first. Right. I'm copying down the equation just for the sake of clarity. There's no mark allocated to copying down the equation, obviously. But I find that it really helps me if I have the equation right in front of me in my hand right in. Right. So plus 3H2. Okay, so that is what I'm dealing with here. Now, let me jot down the information I have. Ultimately, I want to calculate the percentage purity of the aluminium. Okay, that is the main aim at the end of the day. But what information do I have? So, with regards to run 3, of which our concentration is in, well, of which we are paying attention to, we have the change in time, which is 2.6 minutes. But we don't really like that 2.6 minutes. So, let's go ahead and convert that 2.6 minutes to seconds. When I multiply it by 60, I get 156 seconds. So, all right, that's our change in time. And then in run 3, we have the average rate of volume produced of hydrogen gas. So, the average rate, let's just say R of, the average rate is 40 centimeter cube per second. So, what we can essentially do here is to find the average rate is in centimeters, centimeter cube per second. So what we can actually do is to find the change in volume of the hydrogen gas produced. Okay, so let's say we are able to calculate the change in volume of the hydrogen gas produced. So with this change in volume, we're going to be able to find the number of moles of hydrogen gas produced. So this is after this, we find the number of moles of hydrogen gas produced. From this number of moles of hydrogen gas produced, we're going to be able to find the number of moles of aluminium. And from this number of moles, we're going to be able to find the mass. And then from this mass, we're going to find the percentage purity. So this is how you have to be thinking with these kind of questions. You have to have your entire plan laid out before you even calculate the first thing. So let's go ahead and execute this plan. We're going to have the average rate being equals to the change in the volume divided by the change in the time. Average rate is 40. The change in the volume is what we're interested in. The change in time is 156. So the change in volume, just a matter of cross multiplying. 40 multiplied by 156, we have 6,240 centimeter cube. So uh, the number of moles of, not the number of moles, but the volume of H2 is 6240 centimeter cube because initially we had zero hydrogen gas so this entire change is just the final right so there we go we have the volume of the hydrogen gas so with the volume of the hydrogen gas we can find the number of moles of the hydrogen gas let's do that the volume 6240 molar gas volume is given to us 27,000 centimeter cubes per mole so we have 27,000. So 6,240 divided by 27,000. I'm getting 0 
moles. So these are the number of moles of hydrogen gas. So number of moles of hydrogen gas divided by number of moles of aluminium. So this is equals to the ratio of the balancing coefficient. The balancing coefficient of hydrogen gas is 3. That of aluminium is 2. So let's go ahead and calculate the number of moles of aluminium. We're going to have the number of moles of aluminium being equals to number of moles of hydrogen gas 0 0.2311 multiplied by 2. Everything divided by the co the coefficient of number of moles of aluminium, which is 3. So let's go ahead and take a look. So the number of moles of hydrogen gas multiplied by 2, everything divided by 3. So the number of moles of aluminium, I'm getting 0 0.15. 4, 1 moles. So these are the number of moles of aluminium that were that reacted because we have excess hydrochloric acid. So yeah, all the aluminium was used except for the impurity. So number of moles of aluminium. Well, pure aluminium. So in order to find the mass, number of moles divided by the molar mass. Number of moles 0 0.1541. Molar mass of aluminium. Okay, now I actually have to Google that. So the molar mass of aluminium in grams per mole. Right, because there's other units there. So it is about 27. So uh, if I multiply the number of moles by the molar mass, I get 4.16 grams. So percentage purity will be equals to 4.16 the pure divided by the entire sample which is 5 grams multiplied by 100 so 4.16 divided by 5 multiplied by 100 I'm getting 83.2 so this is the percentage purity of aluminium there we go